And the Minister of Democratic Institutions, Karina Gould, joins me now from the foyer of the House of Commons this evening. Minister uh, Gould, good to see you again. Thanks for taking time to speak with me. Thanks for having me. We just heard you say at committee today that you are not getting the assurances you need from Facebook about its plan to safeguard the Canadian elections to make you feel really confident. What specifically uh, is it you want from them and other social media companies? So we have been engaging uh, as part of our whole of government uh, four pillared approach to protecting our democracy with social media platforms. One of the aspects of that is to ensure that they are acting in a manner that ensures authenticity, integrity, and um, transparency on their activities through their platforms. Um, I have to say that you know both Facebook and Twitter have taken some initial steps with regards to ensuring uh, that they are taking down false accounts um, and and that they are at least looking at this issue in a way that they hadn't just a couple of years ago. Right. Um, with regards to um, what we are looking for is, you know, compliance with C76 and the ad registry, and Facebook has assured us that they will be doing that. Um, some of the concerns, though, that I have are, are really with uh, the transparency in the activity that they're doing and providing assurance to Canadians that uh, they're doing everything that they can. Um, okay, well, let me, let me stop you there, because it, it, I think it was clear from your testimony, at least the, the, the clip we saw with you and Charlie Angus, that there's... You, you have some discomfort here about what, how either quickly they're moving or, or how engaged they are uh, around your concerns that they do everything they can to protect the integrity of the system. And so let, let me ask you that again. Are, do you have a level of confidence now that Canadians can rest assured that even if it, at some point, you know, they can't, they can't do, you know, they can't protect everything, but that they are engaged in making sure they will try to protect everything they can as social media companies? I think they are trying, uh, Peter, and I think that they are, um, you know, taking some steps. I think that when it comes to um, some of the content and uh, disinformation campaigns, that there is more that they can do. Um, I was encouraged when I met. Well, with you you say let me just right, just so I can be clear. You you say you think there's more they can do. Do they agree there's more they can do, or or? or is their attitude, look, uh, leave it with us and uh, we'll see? Or do they agree with you that there is more they can do? No, they have, they have told me that there is more that they can do um, and that they are actively working on that. Um, I think uh, one of the challenges is that uh, the way that it is right now, we're kind of leaving it in their hands to prove that they're doing that. Um, you know, there's stuff around their algorithms that, you know, I think we want more clarity on um, in terms of bot accounts and automated accounts that we'd like to see more activity on. Um, but I think one of the things that's important to note is this is just one of the pillars of the plan that we've put forward um, and that you know preparing citizens, providing them the information that they need is important, uh, knowing that you know all of our security agencies are tasked with this important issue. Right, and you and I a few with, weeks, with, yeah, you and I a, a few weeks ago we, when you launched the, uh, the, the protecting the election Election initiative. We we had a chance to talk about that, and at the time we talked, uh, I think you may recall we we had a conversation around. Okay, if if they don't satisfy you, the social media companies, that they're doing all they can do. Are you prepared to regulate? And you, you sort of intimated that yeah, you were. Are you are you getting close to that place where you're not satisfied with the actions you're seeing from them, and you are prepared to regulate? Well, so we've had a couple of meetings both with Twitter and with Facebook um, and with Microsoft as well. We're still waiting to meet with Google. Um, and so we're in the period of time where we're collecting that information and uh, getting ready to make some decisions. I think it will be important to have ongoing conversations. My officials are doing that um, and, you know, and seeing what the, what the next steps are. And, and one thing that should be highlighted, Peter, which I, which I mentioned in committee, um, and I think I probably mentioned last time we spoke is that you know we have in fact already regulated them when it comes to our elections legislation yeah, was it, we, we have you we, yep. exactly yeah, you so, said that in the committee so, today again. yeah and so we have actually taken initial steps to regulate social media platforms specifically when it comes to our elections and advertising and I think this is really important to highlight because uh, we are definitely one of the first jurisdictions if not the first to to take such a move, and I think that's important in the lead up to our elections, to note that we have done it already. But there is some urgency here in what else you want done, isn't there? We, we have an election coming up mm -hmm. in eight months, and so again, we're back to this whole issue of confidence. You're, 
you're the minister uh, that uh, Canadians will look to, to to lead, I guess, the confidence process. And if you're not feeling very confident about what the social media companies are doing this close to an election, how confident should Canadians be? Well, I think that's an important point to raise because I think part of preparing citizens is also, you know, being honest with them about the activities of the social media platforms and so that when they're seeing information um, and getting news and, you know, seeing tweets and posts and videos and memes and whatever the case may be, is that they're looking at it with a critical eye. Um, and so I think that's actually a really important part of the conversation conversation is for uh, citizens to be skeptical of what they're seeing on social media and how that information is being shared with them because it's not like they're opening up a newspaper and perusing through and deciding what they want to share. These platforms are using algorithms to tailor information directly to them. And so, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I think we're, we're still teasing out, but I think it's important to have this conversation with Canadians. Right, but we wouldn't do that with a lot of other things that the government regulates. It wouldn't be, look, at some of the products you buy are faulty products, mm -hmm. so you have to be aware of that. Governments don't do that. Governments say these are faulty products. We'll regulate them. So, I mean, how close are we to saying uh, we're not confident the social media platforms are going to do what it, what's required uh, that we think is in the best interest of the public, so it is time to regulate I'm, I'm back to that same question. Right, and so as I said, we continue to have these conversations. We continue uh, to share our expectations with them, and uh, I will be reporting back to Canadians uh, at the time that I think is appropriate. Once uh, you know, hopefully that we get to a point where you know they say these are the things that we can do, and uh, you know that gives us greater confidence. And if not, I will be sharing that with. Okay, Canadians. so are you saying? I, I, I mean, in legislative terms, uh, we followed pretty close here. It's, it, I, I'm going to suggest it's too late to regulate anything now ahead of this election campaign. Uh, would you agree with that? It was interesting at the committee today. I mean, obviously, the Ethics Committee has been following this issue very closely. They're also uh, working with international counterparts. They're part of the Grand Committee that has another nine countries that are part of it. And, uh, you know, I think that what we're starting to see is really cross-party support to uh, lean in and, and do more when it comes to the social media platform. So uh, I was very pleased to testify at committee today, and I'll continue to engage with committee members uh, to see what they're thinking Okay, as well. are you still thinking? thinking it's possible to regulate social media companies if needed before the election campaign starts. So I am going to continue to engage with them, both social media platform, platforms as well as uh, you know, all of the political parties and members of parliament on this issue. And uh, you know, I, I think that we're starting to come to a, a bit of a consensus on this issue. Okay, and so just let me leave you on this then, if I'm hearing you correctly. If you don't feel you're getting the answers you need uh, for, for want of a... Uh, I mean, this is a very descriptive term, so I want to use it in that context. Are you prepared to call out the companies before an election campaign if you feel that they present a real threat to the kind of information and protection of privacy and so on that Canadians will face during a campaign? Well, I think I've always been clear with regards to the fact that social media platforms have a responsibility to be responsible societal actors, particularly when it comes to our democracy, and that's something that I will continue to do uh, in the coming months as we lead up to the election. All right. Democratic Institutions Minister Karina Gold, uh, good to speak with you. Thanks for making time again. Thanks for having me.